Hey, greetings and salutations, my wonderful friends. Nikki here in Manhattan, New York City, USA. Just gonna film a walking video through old New York, which used to be New Amsterdam, according to that song by They Might Be Giants. I believe this here was New Amsterdam. To be honest though, it really... Okay, so I'm in South... I'm uh, just by South Ferry. It, can, it probably takes you to the Bronx, the ferry boat. And that's where lines four and five go by. But anyways, as I was saying, I feel like I'm in Montreal because of the same vibe. It was a cloudy evening when I was walking through old Montreal and it's down by the down by the river just like here. So why not film a walk and video in this part of town? In case you guys are wondering, there's one New York Plaza and you can see a visible elevator elevator going up. Apparently that building is still under construction. But in case you guys are wondering, I am having a good time here. Um, it's really fun. And I feel safer now than I did a couple days ago. Tuesday I was, I felt very unsafe, especially after that incident with that scammer demanding me to tip him. $10. I already wasted $10 because of that scammer who won't take no for an answer. Thank you very much. But it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, let's get to the other side because I want to show you guys something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Is it here? Uh, yeah, this is Frances Tavern. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It's very Georgian style. This is the oldest restaurant in the country. I think it was built in the 18th century. But it's... It's a uh, very... Georgian and I must say this was um, apparently a residential building but then they converted it into a restaurant but not only is it a restaurant it's also a museum as well let's see what the plaque says national treasure has been listed uh-huh national register of historical places there's the menu there so it's very well known, American Revolutionary War. So yeah, it is the 18th century. George Washington bade an emotional farewell to his officers. And yeah, it's a tavern, all right. It's all very interesting. Me, personally, I could have went to that restaurant, but I don't really want to, number one, because I don't like old stuff. But second of all, on top of that, I don't like to eat at dine-in restaurants when I'm all alone. If I'm going to go to a dine-in restaurant, I'd rather be having food with somebody, not just myself. So why don't we go all the way down to the ferry, then walk up Wall Street. Because Wall Street is very important, and I haven't checked it out yet. And they, they have, here they have an underground of plaza shops, similar to the Toronto Path Network, in my opinion.
man, I'm getting thirsty. I feel like I'm the type of person who gets thirsty all the time. I'm trying to save money, so... I have water with me, but it's in my hotel room. We are in the south uh, eastern tip of Manhattan. Technically, we're in lower Manhattan because we're south of 14th Street. They're really doing a lot of construction. You got a lot of scaffolding and a lot of sidewalks are modified. There's the view of Brook. Okay. Maybe we should get a better view from. Continue walking. We can get a better view. That's Brooklyn that we're looking at. There's a tall. A real tall skyscraper located at the very center of the skyline. I wonder what building that is. But like I say, just out of curiosity, I'm not, uh, I have no plans to stay in Brooklyn. I did visit there on Tuesday, but only for like a short period of time just to ride, take the subway across and eat at a restaurant, but that's about it. I did film some random cooks in Brooklyn. You guys will see it pretty soon. It'll be like a movie extravaganza. This will be, this will probably be one of the only times I ever do random clips. And in case you missed out on my previous videos, you may figure who I get the inspiration from to make random clips. Well, just this once. There's a sign that says, Welcome. Welcome to Brooklyn. And that's the Brooklyn Bridge. You've got a couple of American flags. A little windy, but not a bad night. Okay, let's not... How about we just not walk on top of the ventilation? Because, you don't know, my phone could fall off the selfie stick and fall down one of those holes. And that sounded just like the subway. This right here might have been where my parents drove through when they stayed here in 2008. Back then, the stock market crashed. Now, I don't remember the stock market being, uh, having a financial crisis at the time because I was only four years old, but it, it happened around October 2008. I sort of remember hearing about money and finance on TV from back then, but I don't remember it thoroughly. Now, did we just pass Wall Street? There's a ferry boat over there. You're gonna see a lot of ferries along the East River. Okay, well, let's uh, do the right thing away from the light cycle. Now this area here looks like the same area where, well, it has the same vibe as that area where the bus driver in Montreal told me to delete the picture and told me that I cannot take a picture of the bus 
told me in French why I was filming. I was really upset by this. So you see it uh, feels like Montreal. And if you guys don't like me being repetitive, get over it. I can't help it. It's autism. Deal with it. Otherwise, you're not forced to watch my videos. Just a reminder. This here must be a firehouse, because it is. There's Governor Lane. Oh, I'm gonna cross right, right uh, through. The crosswalk is so narrow, so... You can basically sprint right across just as long as the car is well behind you. The light cycle has less of a meaning. There is Wall Street. Okay, nice. So we're gonna head north towards Wall Street and then we're gonna wrap things up. I just have to hope that, I'm, I'm kind of nervous because I'm worried that my phone is gonna run out of storage. I'm gonna have a storage problem like I did this morning where my video gets interrupted. Every time it happens, I always feel like it's gonna be permanent. Uh-oh. So Wall Street doesn't look as old as I thought. Now the reason they call it Wall Street is because it was named after walls that were built by the Dutch colonists in order to defend their settlement against the British and American attacks. It's also home to the financial district, including the New York Stock Exchange. And the New York Stock Exchange is the most recognizable um, symbol of Wall Street. But New, New York Stock is Exchange is right on top of Wall Street subway station. So it's very easy to get there by the subway. I mean, it's easier to get anywhere around here by subway because there's like more stations and unlike Toronto, the subway just goes literally everywhere. Unfortunately, the system is confusing. I'm seeing a lot of steam coming out of the drains. I don't know what's that, what that's all about. I mean, the temperature is only in the upper single digits, so it can't be that cold. Okay, it should be our turn to cross now. There we go. Yesterday, I saw a rat in one of the subway stations. I, I don't remember which station it was, but I was freaked out by it. Because let me tell you, rats are dangerous animals. Like, mice are harmless, they won't do anything to you. But with rats, you know, they can attack people. They have the tendency to attack, which is why if you have a rat in your home, you gotta cut, you'd be screwed up. Because. I mean, rats don't attack out of random. They only if you try to provoke them. But if you have a rat in your home, you got to get the specialists over. But after I saw it, I was, I thought to my, it, it reminded me of what I've been hearing about the New York subway system having rat infestation. Like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I remember hearing about the rat infestation. 
and there it is. But luckily the rat didn't attack me. I just minded my own business and pretend it wasn't there. But still, I was freaked out by it. I really was. I, like I was scared. My body was shaking a little bit. It's about sunset right now. You can see the sun is sort of behind the clouds. It's kind of wanting to come out, but it's wanting to come out too late because it's gonna get dark soon and it's already getting dark right now. The sun sets earlier here than it does back at home even even though we're on the same time zone and that's because new york is further east so the further east you go the darker it's going to get in the evenings so now we're walking on top of a subway line and that's these are lines two and three the orange lines I find that Times Square is the hub for sweet tooths because you've got the M&M's shop and the Hershey's chocolate place. So yeah, you got M&M's shop and Hershey's chocolate shop or even factory or whatever it is. But yesterday I tried the uh, Hershey's s'mores cookie and it was very good. And today I tried the hot chocolate. The, um, they call it melted hot chocolate. I don't know why they do that because it's already hot anyways. And it was good. It might have been a little bit on the sweet side, but still, I think it was one of the best things I've ever tasted. So I consider it a real treat. There you're gonna find a wide variety of different chocolates that you're never gonna find anywhere else. Just like the Kit Kat Chocolatory in Toronto's Yorkdale Mall. They have a variety of Kit Kat chocolates that you're not gonna find at Bulk Barn or your local grocery store or whatever. So just consider it a treat. I guess I have a sweet tooth. Maybe not as sweet as it was at age three, but still. I, I am attracted to taste. Even though it may not be very healthy for you. And it's big. But I do recommend you guys to check them out. Even if you don't buy anything, it smells nice in there. So, you know, if you go in there and browse around, you can, you'll be like, oh, wow, you know, it, this is, this is, um, they have a wide variety. That's impressive. But anyhow, this here is the New York Stock Exchange and that's Wall Street Station which is where it all ends up. And then, of course, you got Rector Street. So anyways, uh, thank you all for watching and please remember to like, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more vids. And, oh yeah, let's, let's get a thumbnail shot. Uh, you know what, let's get a thumbnail shot of Wall Street. I keep forgetting to do this.
There we go.